Hi everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness playthrough. Today we are playing through part 9, which is going to be the level, the Bio Research Facility. I'm really excited about this one, so let's just get straight into it. So in the last level, we made our way through kind of the warehouse section of the Strahov Fortress. Lara realized that the shortest route to get to the Vault of Trophies, where the fifth painting is, was to go through the Biodome or Bio Research Facility. And to do that, she turned off the power, which unleashed something really, really bad. But you know what? That's just typical Lara Croft, really, isn't it? <laughs> if it gets in her way, she does not care. Also, randomly, we are now in hot pants. We had the full length camo trousers in the previous level and at some point walking through that door uh they magically changed into hot pants i don't know maybe she cut the ends off the trousers because she was getting too warm maybe she had them in her backpack who knows anyway she's got hot pants now also, I am fully recovered now from my dehydration. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments on my last video. Me plus sun do not go well together. But we did have really, really heavy rain today, so it's starting to cool down and I am so happy. I got caught in this big thunderstorm on the way to the gym and I didn't even care. I got completely soaked, but I had a Hillary Duff moment in the rain. I was so happy. Anyway, that's enough of me yapping. Let's let's get into this look how cool this is like you can just imagine how amazing this would have looked if they'd finished it properly so so cool okay so there's a a man over here so uh let's go chat to him hello oh i thought the cutscene started automatically what, so if we just ignore him, we can just go about our day? That's a bit weird. <laughs> That's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh well. Don't breathe, and definitely don't move. You are in big trouble, whoever you are. Intruders don't last long in Strahov. Just answer my questions. Fine. First question, who are you? Second question, what are you and your buddies up to in here? You really don't know what the Cabal is. We are the beginning of a new order of life on Earth. Well, I've never heard of you. Ignorant <laughs> mortal. The Cabal! We control everything here in Prague. <laughs> it means that we are going to be immortal. And you are going to be dead, intruder. Immortal? That is impressive. How are you going to manage that? Meister Eckhart is about to return the Nephilim race to glory. For our part in that triumph, he will grant us immortality. Sure. If I had a coconut for every time some <laughs> lunatic said something like that. Your pathetic ignorance blinds you. We already have the last vital element from Turkey here in Strahov. And that is? The only true remaining Nephilim. The cubiculum nephili, the sleeper. That's right. The last of the extinct race here in the Strahov. Surely the Nephilim are just a myth. You see, ignorance. With vital essences extracted from this precious specimen, Meister Eckhart can breed the next generation of pure Nephilim. No more abomination to run amok like Boaz's proto-Nephilim. She deserved to pay for her stupidity. Yes. Highly inconvenient having abominations running around loose, isn't it? You have <laughs> no idea what you are mocking. <laughs> oh, it's just so silly, but I absolutely love it. And he's gone. I absolutely love that cutscene. It's just so ridiculous. And can I just say, for someone who kept going on about ignorance and how ignorant we are, who just tells all of their evil plans to a complete stranger like that? So stupid. So stupid. But my favourite line ever is, if I had a coconut every time. <laughs> 
Why a coconut? It's so random. So, Lara enters the biodome and comes across Dr. Grant Mueller. I think it's Mueller, Mueller or Muller. Maybe it's Muller actually. Dr. Muller. Okay, yeah, let's just go with that. So, Dr. Muller is in charge of the botanic research in the Strahov complex. As a botanist, he has created numerous plague outbreaks and many mutations, mainly plants that attack anything nearby. So we can see some of his creations around us, so we do need to watch out for them. He is, of course, a member of the Cabal and has a desire for immortality. Honestly, people always want immortality, but I think that sounds awful. Imagine how bored you'd get. Like, yeah, the first couple of hundred years would probably be cool. But then after that, like, what is there to do? You'd be so flipping bored. Dr. Muller tells Lara that she will be killed and that the Cabal will soon rule the earth. He says that Eckhart plans to return the Nephilim race to glory and that for their part in the triumph, Eckhart will grant all the members of the Cabal immortality. Dr. Muller says that they have the sleeper in the Strahov and he says that using this only remaining Nephilim, Eckhart can breed a new generation of pure Nephilim. So that is Eckhart's grand master evil plan is to bring back the extinct Nephilim race so it can kind of take over the world basically and then they can all become immortal and stuff. We'll go more in depth into his plan and a lot of background for Eckhart and everything in the final video of the playthrough I think but it's just nice to know at this point that that is basically what Eckhart's doing. Dr. Muller also mentions an abomination experiment by someone called Boaz. It was a proto-Nephilim, a non-pure Nephilim that they tried to create and it didn't turn out well. And basically that is the thing that Lara accidentally set loose in the previous level. So that's not good. So my understanding is that they tried to make this proto-Nephilim before they had the sleeper and it turned out not pure Nephilim so it came out wrong somehow. Okay, so this place is absolutely full of carnivorous plants and um, we'll just be running into different experiments by Dr. Muller as we go through this level. So I think if we pull this, we can... Oh, butterflies! Oh, how pretty! We can get some pickups if we do this. Right. Oh yeah, then I forgot to say actually that, um, yeah, then when they finish their conversation, Dr. Muller sprays Lara with fertilizer and kind of like chokes her and then he runs away. Which is so silly, but I love it. I like it a lot. Okay, how is she leaving footprints on steel, metal, it looks like? I'm confused. Do you know, out of all the problems in this game, that's not even really a problem, is it? I'm, <laughs> I'm being too picky. Okay, and I think there's more pickups over here, but it's so cool, isn't it? Just look at all these plants. Look at this one. This one's gonna try and kill us. Jeez! Oh my god! Oh, I knew there was a big plant there and I was trying to get a look at it. I didn't know it. It bent down. Oh. What is that noise? Oh. What 
What's it doing? Oh! That's pretty cool. They're quite scary, I think. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's everything, so let's get out of here. <laughs> I feel like um, this was kind of a more finished room in the level, and then you'll notice just as we get further into the level, the rooms just get more and more bare, like unfinished looking, especially this one. It just seems so bare and plain compared to the previous one. Oh great, and here's another one of Dr. Muller's mutants. I don't know what that's supposed to be. A shrub, a tree, a shrub person? I don't know. But look, we'll just avoid it because if we kill that, what it does is- oh get away! It releases these six little, I think they were described as like pill bug mutants. So you just waste a lot of health and ammo by killing that one because I think once you unleash, 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 those six, you kind of get away. You kind of have to kill them like it's more difficult to avoid the six of them than just the one so yeah I'm just gonna leave him there and ignore him because I'm not wasting all my ammo and all my health on him no thank you this game is hard enough right um so does he follow me up here or does he just stay down there I think he stays down there I think so. I think I'm safe up here. Let's slide down here away from him. Uh, I know there's something in here. Whoa! Get away! Oh my god! I'm trying to look for pickups and you're just being a pain in the arse. Give me a flipping heart attack. Right, um I don't know, I feel like there was more pickups, but maybe there's not. Maybe there's not. I don't see anything. Right, okay. Let's, um, ugh. Oh, would you stop, Lara? Let's check up here. And then I think we can, can continue. I did see that one I just ran past, but I could also see this one. Oh my god he can come up here get away get away <gasps> oh I didn't know he could throw Stuff at us. What the hell was that? What an absolute arsehole. Okay. Let's see if we can... We need to lure him back down because I need time to stand there and climb. Hello? Where'd you go? Excuse <laughs> Oh, I don't like.
like him. <sighs> How did he get down? Oh, he did that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's go quickly. Quickly, quickly. Right. Go, 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 go. I'm not able for this. I don't know why he scares me so much. Right. Okay. I'm happy being up here. Where is he? I can hear him. Running around the flipping place down there. Okay, let's do a hop. Oh, for... I don't know why they bothered having that hop if she never hops in the direction you want her to. I'm enraged. Okay. Careful. Okay, so that's our way out of here. Um, I'm pretty sure we can drop down this ladder. I think we'll lose life, but do you know what? I'm not I'm not climbing back the other way. That is that is not happening today. Okay. Right, we're out of there. It's all good. Up you go. Okay, I need to take health. Let's use some bandages. I have a lot of these. There we go. Okay. Um oh no, this is the bit with the fish. Oh, There's a giant mutant fish. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. Almost fell into the water with the fish. But like, I want to I want to look at the fish so people who haven't seen it before can see it. But I don't know if I need to get into the water to do that. Now, the fish, as far as I know, is harmless. I don't think the fish, like, attacks you or anything. But I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. Did you drop something? Of course you didn't. Of course you didn't. Now let's see if we can... Okay, that's where we climb out if we fall in. Well, let's see if we can get a look at this fish without, um, without going in. Oh, we can climb up there too. Uh, hello? Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh! Yeah, look at that. I am not, I am not getting in with that. So this is, this is as close as you're going to get to it. <laughs> it looks scary. I don't like it. Okay, now Lara, if you mess up this jump and fall in, I will not be happy. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, okay, pick that up. Let's walk carefully. Oh, looks like it's waiting for us. Go, 
Go away. <gasps> okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Right, so I do believe that we climb up here. Are there any pickups hidden? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, so where am I going? Uh. Oh! Okay. Wait, was I supposed to do that? I don't know. I could have just run up the stairs, though. That didn't do anything. Right, I think I'm... Oh! I think I can jump over here. Okay. Right. Stop away. It's making me so nervous. I don't like it. That, no, can you? Please. Can't you go? You can only go that way. Can you pull up? Oh my god, I'm running out. I'm running out of strength. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why won't she... Why won't she go over? Why won't she? Oh ah! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Where do I get out? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, get me out. Get me out, get me out, get me out. <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. We're okay. Get up, Lara! Oh my god. <sighs> I'm actually shaking after that. Okay, so it looks like it tried to bite us. But yeah, I don't think it actually does any damage to you. I, like... <sighs> I'm actually... I'm shaking. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. For any newer subscribers who are confused, I have almost, I would call it, honestly, a phobia of water um, and things that live in water. So, yeah, that is not fun for me. Okay, so we have to... No, you're going the wrong way. We have to try this again, but how... When I press for her to go to the left, she won't climb to the left. Why won't she climb the other? Why is this happening? No. Go the- Oh! No, we're not, we're, no, we're not, no, we're not doing that again. Okay, so I'm thinking that I did something wrong. And, oh, hang on, I can see, I can see up here. Ah, see, I knew I was meant to climb those vines. I didn't climb them properly. That's what happened. Okay, let's do that. Right, so can I... Yeah, okay, I can grab here. Climb up this wall instead. Is 
Sorry, I feel like my neighbours at some point are going to call the police from the screaming when I record. But you know what? I've been playing games and recording for years now, screaming my head off. Not once has anyone called the police or checked that I'm okay. Um, I guess no one cares. That's nice. <laughs> Okay, so this is like moving ledges that we need, I guess. Um, okay. I'm confused, but I'm just going with it. Okay, and then if I just, if I climb down here, right, and then jump back across here, but that still didn't solve my problem of not being able to climb up that uh, drain pipe. I'm gonna have a look up here and see what the story is. Um, oh, it's just pickups. This is also, I mean, it's nice, but it's also not helpful. I don't know, did those ledges make it so I could climb? I don't know. I just don't know. Right, let's try this yet again. No, go the other way. See, she won't won't even climb up oh oh my god oh my god <gasps> am I gonna make it oh it's very tight please please let me make it please let me make it please 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 climb up <gasps> oh my god thank you thank you for finally working Although I'm actually glad it didn't work the other times because I would have been absolutely raging if I'd finally got up here and then realised that I hadn't moved the ledge. So, but I mean, we haven't used it yet, but okay. I'm, I'm sure it's important though. I'm sure it is. Oh yeah, it's important right now. So I would have gotten... Jeez! I would have gotten stuck now. Sorry, I reloaded. That was not happening. That was not happening. Right, I need to I need to move further over. Come on, Lara. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right. Thank goodness. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. You know, all of this pain and suffering could be avoided. If the Cabal would just, like, repair their broken walkways. Why wouldn't they? Why would they just leave them like that? It's so impractical. Okay, I am glad to be past that fish. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the, what's it called? The aquatic research facility. Oh yes, that's a level for people who didn't know. <sighs> that is unfortunately a level. Okay, so we've got an evil tree. <laughs> it's like the happening. The tree wants revenge for some reason. Um, what are we doing? Oh. I'll take that. 
Um, that doesn't look good or healthy. I don't want to know what that is. Is there anything else? What? What? Okay. So this is like the solution to this kind of puzzle, I guess. Um, right. So it's got a list of symbols and then there's symbols above each switch. So the last one is like a big X. So it's like, don't do that. Are all the other ones correct to do then? I mean, they must be. Okay, let's just go with the first one then. So it's the first switch, the third switch, and the fourth switch. Right, let's just see what happens. Okay, so first switch. Third. Okay, and fourth. Okay, so this, this has filled now. Hopefully this is correct. I get it. The one with the big X is the one we should do because we're trying to kill the plant. Of course, the workers wouldn't want to be killing the plant. These all make the plant nice and, and good. Okay, so we want to do that one with the big X to kill it. So it's first, second, and fourth. Aha, that makes sense. So I was like feeding it a good mixture. Making sure it had a great time. Okay, that should be it. Okay, this should kill it. I don't usually condone killing trees, but this is an evil, evil tree. And now we can get through. Right, I don't think I missed any pickups. Those flowers are so pretty. Okay, I don't think I missed anything, but hmm, maybe. Who knows at this stage? Yikes. Okay, we can see he's got a pass. Right, so our objective is to... I think there's only three men, so we need to kill all three men and get all three of their passes so we can get through a door. Very simplistic, but oh! But you know what? They ran out of time. Has he not seen me? He was very slow to react. Oh well. Got your pass. Um, right, so this is just like a giant greenhouse. Let's have a... Something was moving there. Let's have a, a, a look at this. Really, really cool. I like it. That water doesn't look very uh, hygienic though. Right, so are there any pickups? Ah. Woo!
Okay, I don't... Oh! What's that? That's a pass. Can I pick that up? Where'd that come from? Did that just fall out of the air or something? How odd. Okay, well, do you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not going to say no. Um, right. Okay, so I think the door we have to go through is there. Let's check out this flower bed. Okay, it's so a ladder. Oh, that plant ate something. That's scary. Right, there's nothing here, so. I suppose we'll go up. More long ladders. What is their obsession? we can't go that way again with the broken walkways like sort your life out cabal what the hell it's just ridiculous honestly um so i don't think we can open that door yet Oh, there's more hopping. Uh, I need to save this first. Oh! Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, well it's a pickup, so don't mind if I do. Oh, I'm very injured. Well, good thing I'm picking up bandages then, isn't it? Oh, for goodness sake. Can I jump over there? Let's try. Ooh. Cool. Hmm. Maybe if I just jump here and slide down. Oh, no. Oh, God. No. Has he seen me? I think he has. Oh well. You can't get to me because clearly you can't open a door. Oh for f- oh! I am so beyond frustrated with this. Oh my god, are you serious? I am actually losing the will to live. Do you know what? I'm skipping that one. Maybe if I do a big... What if I do a big run and jump over to that one? Yeah, I'm not even dealing with you anymore. Not dealing with it. Ha oh no! That was so close! <gasps> yes! Yes! Take that! In your face oh for god's would you oh my god thank you thank you so much for doing a basic function i am so mad right now <laughs> i'm so frustrated the controls this ledge looks too far i don't think i'll make it yet of course you won't yeah, the controls are uh, really getting to me in this one, I have to say. You got nothing? Right. Um, so I think I can open this door from this side. See, he could have just opened it if he wasn't so flipping lazy. <sighs> I need to calm down after that. I'm actually like... Super, super stressed. Uh, 
I can't do this anymore. I actually just can't do this anymore. <sighs> My strength has increased. Maybe now I can make it a... Yeah, how? How? How did that increase your strength? Pray tell. Are you kidding me? Please, thank you. Okay, great. We can jump further. Woohoo. Fabulous. I'm sorry. This level is breaking me with the <laughs> with these controls. My will is broken. I think we just keep going up. Mm, yeah, well, I mean, where else would we go? So I assume it's the right way. Oh, yeah. There's chaos out there. I have the power been cut off. Is this your doing, Miller? No. The power's down everywhere. Just control things in the dome, then. Do it. It's everything locked down. We don't want anything getting loose. It's yeah, under lady. control, Master Eckhart. We have a problem down in the sanatorium. What problem, Boaz? Just have the guards deal with your inmates and pets. I have a confession, Master Eckhart. I didn't destroy the Proto-Nephilim. The Proto? You are kidding. Right, Boaz? I need to supervise this personally. That experiment was to be eradicated. I expressly ordered it. It's far too dangerous to keep alive. I couldn't! It's half Nephilim! That makes it impossible to kill without your very up shard. You ignored my orders for the last time, Boaz. Mullah, I need the services of one of your little creations. Ah, oh, please, no! It wasn't my fault! I'm loyal! Your own incompetence has sentenced you, Boaz. Give me a chance! What the fuck? I will be obeyed. Now sort this mess out. Okay, so let's go through that and also acquaint ourselves with the other Cabal members. Lara sees Dr. Muller working on a computer. Gunderson and Eckhart approach Muller and demand to know why the power is down. Lara's probably just standing there going, it wasn't me. Eckhart tells Muller to ensure that everything is locked down and that nothing gets loose. Bit late for that. Dr. Christina Boaz then comes running and announces that they have a serious problem down in the sanatorium. Now, we'll be in the sanatorium later in the game, so I'm not going to discuss that right now. So just a bit of information about Dr. Christina Boaz. So Dr. Boaz is head of corrective and remedial surgery at the Strahov Psychiatric Institute i.e. the sanatorium. She is from Argentina and bears the scars of a horrific plane crash that she survived in 1987. So that was really cool because I never knew before why she had those kind of scars and stuff on her face and neck and everything. So it's kind of cool to know uh, why she has those. Boaz also leads a team of scientists in the Strahov who experimented with genetic engineering and the use of Nephilim DNA. And unfortunately, many of these experiments were performed on Boaz's psychiatric institute patients in the sanatorium. Again, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail in the next video. So Boaz is the one who created the proto-Nephilim. 
the terrifying creature that Lara accidentally released when she turned the power off. This experiment turned out wrong. Again, I'm not sure if it's because this experiment was done before they had the sleeper and like now they have the sleeper so they can breed a pure Nephilim and this one is like half Nephilim or a mutated Nephilim. I think that's why the proto Nephilim turned out wrong, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So the experiment turned out wrong and it was deemed too dangerous to keep alive. So Eckhart had ordered that Boaz destroy it. So yeah, I looked it up there just to double check and it doesn't exactly say why the proto Nephilim turned out wrong. It just said that it was an early attempt to create a Nephilim and the experiment went wrong and didn't turn out as expected. So my best guess is that they made this proto Nephilim before they had the sleeper, but I'm not sure. Boaz didn't kill the proto Nephilim because she couldn't kill it without a periapt shard. So this is really interesting information. Now we know what these shards are and we have one. We picked it up from Curtis outside the Louvre. So the periapt shards can kill Nephilim. Interesting. Eckhart is enraged that Boaz ignored his orders and he feeds her to one of Dr. Muller's experiments called the pod. And honestly, that part just like traumatizes and horrifies me so much. I I find that so disturbing. I do not like um, the pod. Eckhart then tells Dr. Muller and Gunderson to sort this mess out. And just a bit of info on Gunderson. So Martin Gunderson runs an organization called The Agency. This is a thinly disguised mercenary recruitment service providing specialized forces for anything from basic security to invasions. He is, of course, a member of the Cabal and is the personal bodyguard to Eckhart. He seems to despise Muller and Boaz and kind of seems to see them as useless or incompetent. As I said, we'll be going through Eckhart in depth in the final video of this playthrough, which will be video 12, so not that far away. But then the only other member of the Cabal that we haven't talked about yet is the guy who's always just floating around in the background and looks like Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> right, it's not just me who thinks that. He's got the blonde hair, he's got like the same clothes. Anyway, so his name is Karel. And again, I'm gonna leave going through info about him until the final video. Oh, and that info about Gunderson will be very relevant in the next video. Well, not very relevant, but it will be relevant in the next video. So just keep the info about Gunderson in mind. Okay, so let's continue. So this is the... This is the last pass we need. I feel like I feel like we shouldn't have picked up that random pass we found on the ground. I don't know. Maybe it's it's just bugged. Most likely. Oh god. Oh god, what's happening? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Um so now, where am I going? Let me see. Do we have anywhere? Ooh, do we have anywhere left? I feel like we haven't been to this, to this bit. Can we just drop down here? Oh, that looks too far, doesn't it? Oh, I'm going with it. I am going with it. Oh, really injured. <laughs> oh, she walks like she's drunk when <laughs> she does that. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like there was supposed to be a man up here. 
but it bugged out and that man is dead and the past just magicked itself on the ground down there. I feel like this has been a bug. Oh no! Right. You know what? Look, we have three passes. It's good enough. Let's just... Let's just go. Because I can't... I can't deal with this anymore. <laughs> oh, I also can't deal with her limping. Hang on, I need to take health. Right, okay, she's better now. Right. Please open the door. Just let me through. Why won't she step sideways for me? I don't know why. Great. Done. Whew. Um, so now we just need to grab some... Won't you go over? Grab some pickups that oh for God's sake. Grab some pickups down here. Um quickly because we can't breathe down here. Uh oh yeah. Hang on. I want that one. And I hang on. Was that not a chocolate bar? Oh god, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna off. Oh, what is happening? It's poisoning me. Stop that. Um, there. There's another thing. Would you stop? Stop taking all my life. Go on. Go. No. Oh my god. Send help, please. Why is she climbing on the air? Are you flipping kidding me? This is bugged too. She's climbing on air. There. Thank you. I'm so flipping stressed out. <laughs> the thing is, I really like the the biodome, but I mean, the controls and the bugs have just decided that this was not going to be a pleasant experience today. They were like, nah, uh No way are you allowed to have a relaxing evening. <laughs> you must suffer. Uh, okay, and... Okay. So, yeah, then we just go back um, the way we came. Because it was just, it was just pickups. Right. Okay, let's go, go, go. So we don't lose any more life. Right. So this is basically the end of the level now and we're going to get a cutscene. You really have made a mess of things, haven't you? Who for? The stalker who stole my painting? What do you need with the painting? Maybe I'll explain later, Ms. Croft. But for now, I need to go and turn the power back on. Leaving me here? You've caused enough problems over the last two days. Safer for everyone if you stay in one place for a while. 
You'll be okay in there. And this? My period shard. You... Picked it up in the Louvre, yes. After you stole my painting. <laughs> All this can wait. I know where you'll be. Take a breather from damaging things, why don't you? Okay, so we'll just quickly go through that. So Lara enters an airlock and realizes that she cannot open the door. Curtis Trent appears on the other side of the glass and tells Lara that he's trapped her in there so she can't make any more messes. And to be honest, that is fair because she did turn off the power and release the proto-Nephilim, which was pretty bad. Lara asks Curtis why he stole her painting and Curtis says he might explain later, but right now he needs to go turn the power back on. Lara slams the periap shard against the glass and this scene is why it's so important for us to know how Lara got it because the first time I played this game I did not catch in the cutscene that she had picked anything like that up off the ground. I didn't even realize it was in our inventory and then all of a sudden she just holds this thing up and I was like where did she get that from? It's very unclear so at least this time I know where she got it from and what it is. So Curtis seems quite annoyed that Lara stole his periap shard. Lara reminds him that he stole her painting first which to be fair yeah. Curtis says that all this can wait and that he will be back soon for Lara and the shard. Now this was a really really great cutscene. I love this cutscene. I wish this had been their first interaction and not the creepy other one. But anyway, so the next video is going to be really really exciting because for those who don't know, we will be playing as Curtis in the next video and we will also be finding out all about who Curtis is, his backstory, all about these periat shards. There's just lots of really interesting information that I never knew before. When I was researching it I was literally like so excited. It's so interesting. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it even though I was quite annoyed for most of it. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing if you haven't already. It really does help me out and I will see you really, really soon in the next video.